Hey everyone, I'm Justin and welcome back to Aquavita Woodworks. Uh, my wife and I are going to a garden party themed wedding at the end of this month and I'm supposed to dress up. I guess I can't wear the shop apron. Anyway, let's make a bow tie. So I knew right away that I wanted to use this half inch scrap wood that I have. I have some maple and some black walnut uh, and the plan is to cut everything down into strips and glue them together in order to have a striped pattern on the bow tie. I think I have enough material here to make two different bow ties, just in case I make any mistakes. Once all my pieces are cut, I can apply some wood glue and spread it around using this old Home Depot gift card. Who needs fancy glue spreaders? Anyway, I clamp them together and let them dry overnight. The next day, I remove my clamps and start running this piece through the planer just to get everything the same thickness and nice and even. After my piece is planed down, I square off the edges on the miter saw and start sanding up to 220 grit sandpaper. All I have to do now is take some measurements of my piece so I can pull it into a carbide create and start designing my bow ties. Once I'm in Carbide Create, I set the size of my workpiece to the dimensions that I had measured earlier, and then I came up with these random bow tie shapes using the different functions of Carbide Create. After that, I decided to pull in this file of a flower that I got off the internet, and then I started assigning toolpaths. Uh, the flower is going to be a V-carve using a 30 degree V-bit, and then I'm going to use an outside contour with an eighth inch downcut bit to cut out the bow ties. You can see I made two different sizes, and that's because I'm not sure how big the bow tie actually needs to be. Once my G-code is saved and uploaded to Carbide Motion, I apply some Aura Mask to the bottom half of my workpiece so that I can paint the flowers later on after the carve. And before putting it on my Shea Poco, I apply some double-sided tape since I did not add tabs into this project, and it will carve all the way through. Now all that's left is to secure it down to my wasteboard and start carving. Hey guys, now's a good time to tell you that while you're watching this, you should probably look down in this corner and hit the subscribe button. Helps me a ton and I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, now that these are carved, I can clearly see that the larger of the two bow ties, uh, the one without the flowers, is just way too big. Uh, so I'm glad that I didn't waste my time putting flowers into that one. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but either way, I will sand these edges down and get ready to start painting the flowers. I like to use acrylic paint for most of my projects and apply it with a brush, but before I do that, I need to spray a coat of lacquer to make sure that the paint does not seep into the grain. Once the lacquer is dry, I start generously applying paint using my brush by dabbing it into the cracks. And since these cracks are really narrow, I like to use a compressor to blow out the paint just in case it's piling up in spots that I can't see. Once the paint's fully dry, I start using my weeding tool to slowly pick away the ore mask. This is by far my least favorite part of any project. But once everything is removed, I can give it a quick sanding before heading over to the router table and rounding over the edges. Now it's just a matter of applying a bunch of coats of finish. In this case, I'm using that lacquer because I like the shine that it gives, and it also dries extremely quickly. Uh, once I apply all my coats, I need to start thinking about how I'm going to attach this to my neck. In the end, I ended up getting these elastic bow tie straps off of Amazon. They came in a kit with a whole bunch of them, more than I'll ever need. And I attached them to the back with some CA glue and accelerator. Once secured, I used this decorative twine that I had left over from some Easter projects to wrap around the center of the bow tie to add a nice decorative effect and also hold the strap in place a little bit better. I also use CA glue for that. And this is what I'm left with, pretty sharp. Okay, so here is the final product. Uh, the back is not the best looking thing I've ever seen, but it's okay, it'll be against my neck. Uh, let's see if this bad boy fits. I think I look pretty dapper so far if I don't say so myself. What about you guys? Uh, this could be tightened a little bit, but overall I think it's pretty good. Uh, can tell right now that my double chin's gonna suffer a little bit since this is so stiff looking down, but what do you expect with a wooden bow tie? Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with this project and I think people are gonna ask me a lot of questions about it at the wedding. So anyway, hit the subscribe button or give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you wanna see more. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.